After dropping Game 1 to the St. Mary's Gales on Friday night, it was senior Eli Lingos' turn to toe the rubber as the Devils looked to even up the series on Saturday afternoon. Things didn't start smoothly for Lingos as he got knocked around in the first inning, giving up an RBI single to Edward Hawes before Austin Chauvin brought in two more with an RBI double. The Devils trailed 3-0 after one inning, but Lingos found his groove as the game progressed and did not allow another run. Lingos retired 10 straight batters during the second through fifth innings and finished the game one out away from a quality start when Tracy Smith pulled the left-hander in the fifth inning. I thought he settled in um, nicely. I mean, that's what you expect out of your veteran players is that you don't get rattled, you don't get caught up in the emotion um, of that big first inning by them. And he did an excellent job of continuing to make those pitches and did exactly what he was supposed to do, which was you know, allow this offense to battle back and um, you know, give us a chance to win the game. On the offensive side of things, Spencer Torkelson got the scoring started for ASU when he blasted a solo shot, his fourth of the year in the second inning. That began a streak of seven straight Sun Devil hits that was punctuated by Gage Canning's 17th career triple, which leads all active Division I players. The Devils ended up with a five spot in the second inning and carried a 5-3 lead for a majority of the game. Tracy Smith removed Eli Lingos in the fifth inning in favor of right-hander Sam Romero, who carried a 5-3 Devil lead into the eighth inning. But then, with two outs in the inning, Dylan Robertson came to the plate for the Gales. The two-run shot from Robertson tied the game, and the Gales would tack on another run on a Connor Higgins wild pitch in the ninth inning. Devils got a runner in scoring position in the bottom of the ninth, but couldn't get it done, losing game two of the series 6-5 to five, to the Gales. Yeah, it sucks, but we're not worried. Like, we still got confidence in this team. And just kind of talking to all of them because, like, I mean, I've gone up talking to a lot of them today, and it's just like they played well, like a lot, especially a lot of the young guys. They did well. They did their jobs today. We just have to do a little better job and pull off a win there. The Devils finished their three games set with the Gales on Sunday afternoon at Phoenix Municipal Stadium. But for now, reporting in Tempe, Alex Gall, Cronkite Sports.